This is the BrewTubers Online Brewers Club 2022 Hops Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale. Thanks to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewers Hardware, Five Star Chemicals, and Yakima Valley Hops. Get brewing. What's going on guys? Nick Lessigore here, Exit 12 Homebrew in the house. And I'm back with another homebrew review of the 2022 BrewTubers Online Brewers Club Hops Experiment, Hoppy Blonde Ale. And I am here with a special one. Uh, they're all special. All six of them are special. These beers, these experiment beers are like children. You love all of them equally. So for all the crap that I'm getting on our Discord channel, for rating the beers, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to rank them. I want you all to know that I love you equally. So this beer uh, comes from uh, a fellow member of the tribe, uh, a fellow uh, Jewish man such as myself, my boy, Dan Matthews, who I keep calling Dave for some reason, uh, but his name is Dan Matthews. Uh, he's from Dog Hair Brewing Company. Check it out. Very cool, love the label. Has all the information right there for you. Uh, and he brewed this beer with Mosaic Lupo Max. So as a qu quick review, I've done the experiment beers with Mosaic T90, Citra T90, and Citra Lupo Max. This beer was done with Mosaic Lupo Max. So let's pop this open. Dan mentioned a few times uh, to the group that he's, he, he has concerns with it overflowing. So we're gonna be careful. I have been known to be a jostler, a bottle can jostler. So I'm gonna try my best here. Love the can. Oh, a little pop. No overflow, Dan, which is nice. Got some nice bubbles slowly coming up here. Not sure if you can see that. We're gonna pour this out. Love the little stubby, love the stubby bottle. We've gotten a wide uh, a range of <laughs> packaging types in this experiment. Not gonna pour it all out. Oh yeah, that is looking nicely clear. I was gonna put the bottle down, but let me give you some quick, some quick stats that he was nice enough to include. OG 1.047, FG 1.012, 4.62% ABV. Very cool, love the simple label. Let's take a look at this. Very nicely clear. Quite nice actually. Let's turn it around so you can see. Oh, he, he is from Canada. There's a, you can see that a little bit better. He is from Canada. So the stubby bottle, they work over milliliters over there, I'm sure. Um, so that's why it's probably not filled up. Also, you know, 10, 12 ounces, whatever it is. Um, this is my type of format, to be honest, on a weekday, which is, this is what this is. Nice bubbles coming up, as I showed. Very slight hue. It's not the clearest one that, that I've gotten so far, but it's also not the haziest. Uh, nice bubbles popping up tiny bubbles, had about a quarter finger head. I was getting aromas as I was pouring it, but I don't want to go off that. Let me dig in. Oh, that smells interesting, fun. I'm getting a grape character. I'm getting like a corny character. Not cream corn, but like uh, fresh corn. but I'm really getting like a big time grape character. I'm getting almost like a Sauvignon Blanc grape. Also getting like a slight jelly characteristic to it as well. Like Smuckers almost. It smells like nicely sweet, which is interesting. You can't really s smell sweet, but. This smells fantastic. 
Dan is actually, he's been a member of the club pretty much since its inception uh, as an official club a few years ago. Uh, and he's actually up in an election right now for a board member position uh, with the club, Brewtubers, www.brewtubers.com. If you want to vote on Dan either being a board member or not, he's in a highly contested race right now. Uh, join the club, become a paying member, hang out with us on Discord, chat with us. You get to do cool things like this. It's a minimal fee every year. It's fun. So I'm going to take a sip of this uh, to my fellow tribesmen, my fellow uh, Jewish man. Hanukkah is on Sunday. I've been hitting him up with some questions. I'm going to be celebrating for the first time. Very excited about it. Excited to show my son. Uh, the ways of our people and uh, really just have a great time over the course of, uh, of Hanukkah. So it's going to be fun. Dan's been very gracious in answering my questions. So thank you, Dan. L'chaim. Interesting. Okay. Not a ton to speak of on the front end. Middle to back end, I'm getting a bitterness. Kind of get that grape character in the middle to back end, but I'm getting like a heavy amount of bitterness. And then there's like a twang on the back end that kind of sits on the palate for a little bit. For a 4.6%, it's fantastic. I'm sure you can hear that. That is my dog bopping around, bee bopping around. I'll tell you one thing, it's going down. It's going down quick. Um, all right. Get that kind of corn character, which is interesting. There's no corn in this. So it, I think it's just like kind of a grainy kind of homebrew character. <clears throat> From a brewing standpoint, <coughs> flawless. No off flavors. Um, washes off the palate. The slowest of the beers I've had to this point. It, it does kind of hang out. You get that kind of twanginess that kind of hangs out a little bit. And I don't know if that's a water chemistry thing. Uh, we all kind of abided by the same water chemistry, but if you go back and watch Dan's video, he did add his chemicals, his salts rather, uh, at, at a different point than I think some of the other guys in the club. It's a great beer. It's well made. Mm. does have that mineraliness to it, and that could be his water as well, which is interesting. This is a fun beer. This is a really fun beer. I'm excited about it. Okay, so this is fun. In terms of rankings, I'm gonna go with uh, the Mosaic Lupo Max in uh, fourth, uh, and then I'm gonna go with the Mosaic uh, T90, then the Citra T90, uh, and then in first, that Citra Lupo Max. So I got two more beers left for this experiment. I'm excited to drink them. It's well carbonated for sure, Dan, and it did not, uh, you know, it didn't, it didn't explode all over me, which is nice. Um, so you're safe there, uh, no matter how much I jostled it. Um, but very good beer, very well made, uh, from uh, one Jewish man to another. L'chaim, thank you so much for being in this experiment, and thank you for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy this upstairs, recording the podcast tonight, so it should be fun. Thursday fun day. One more day until my wife gets back from vacation. I'm watching my son. Let's get after it. L'chaim.